one hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Hello and welcome to Cardiff on a for the airport historic day in October. After early in the year having been selected to host a major NATO exercise which involves military units from several nations, the airport has mostly been closed down for civilian aviation during the course of the exercise. Only a handful of regular civilian routes that specially had to be pre-approved ahead of the exercise will be handled during the morning hours, as otherwise the airport's operations have been handed over to the Royal Air Force. the terminal we find a few civilian aircraft that have been given special slots to operate flights during the exercise. One of them being this Embraer EAJ145 of BMI that still has 10 minutes left until its scheduled departure to Manchester. And it's seldom been as important to get the aircraft out on time as a delayed departure can result in the expiration of the departure slot and therefore the danger of getting the plane and passengers stranded at the airport. As the airspace with the exception of those few flights has been closed for civilian aviation. In 15 minutes, this Bombardier Dash 8 Q400 of Fly B will make its way to Edinburgh. The last luggage is right now being loaded and boarding is about to be completed, so the flight crew is confident that an on-time departure is within their grasp. This should hopefully also be possible for this Airbus A319 of British Airways that is flying on the Cardiff London Heathrow route. Luggage is still being loaded, but boarding has already started, which means the remaining 25 minutes until pushback will be sufficient to complete the turnaround. An aircraft where the turnaround didn't work out and ended up being delayed so much that the departure slot expired and ended up stranding the aircraft and its passengers is the 737-200 of Ryanair. The airline made it very clear to the airport management how dissatisfied they are about the situation. A civilian aircraft, but today hired into military service, is this Boeing 747-200 of European Aviation Air Charter that on one of its very last assignments, before it will be scrapped, has been hired in by the RAF to exercise procedures around troop transports using wide-body civilian aircraft. And now, before we head out to the remote stands, it's time for the news. Labour dispute intensifies. After the airport staff earlier in the year had unionized as a countermeasure following the airport's announcement of possible pay cuts, negotiations have taken place in relative silence over the summer. This has however come to an abrupt ending as the union today announced negotiations to have failed and prepared its members soon to take part in a vote on the union's next steps in the matter, including the possibility of strikes. An airport spokesperson commented that the airport management had noted with regret that no deal had been reached, but that the airport was hopeful a new agreement could be reached and urged the union not to take any rash steps, which could hinder future negotiations. Swiss announces closure of Basel route. After less than one year of operating the route, Swiss International Airlines has today announced that it will discontinue its Basel route by the end of the year. The airline announced that it in future would be flying to Cardiff from Zurich and Geneva using Airbus A320 and other 100 aircraft. It is not yet known how or if Helvetic Airways will react to today's announcement as the airline currently is operating on the route between Zurich and Cardiff, but a possible cooperation seems likely given the close ties of the airlines. Welcome Air to Open Route The Austrian regional carrier announced to open a route to Innsbruck in the Austrian Alps, ideal for ski tourism in the winter season. The first flight is expected to go ahead by December. Ryanair airs frustrations. 
For the first time since last year's dispute between Cardiff Airport over airport fees, the airline has publicly proclaimed its dissatisfaction with the airport fees and services. A Ryanair spokesperson said, Last year, we came to an agreement that would significantly reduce airport fees for Ryanair in exchange for a larger presence at the airport. We are here, but so are the exuberant charges and we will not continue for long if the airport management doesn't very soon come to the realization that this business model of theirs does not have a future. It was not possible to get a comment from Cardiff Airport on the matter. NATO exercise has attracted a wide range of aircraft types to the airport that definitely aren't regular sites at the airport, so it's perhaps not a surprise that the event is attracting many spotters to the airport, and that despite the fact that information about the flight schedule is rather scarce, if any information is being passed on at all. Taxiing past the terminal is this AVEX Boeing E3C Sentry of the US Air Force that has just arrived from the Rammstein Air Base. It will be taxiing into a ramp where it then will be prepared for its upcoming assignments during the NATO exercise. In one of the remote ramps we find a Lockheed C-130H Hercules of the Royal Netherlands Air Force that arrived very early this morning from the Volkel Air Base in the Netherlands. It looks like the aircraft right now is being loaded, but what its next assignment exactly will be is not publicly known. In another remote stand we find a Trans-L C-160 of the German Air Force that has arrived earlier this morning from the German Air Force Base Wunstorf. It looks like it has a scheduled departure in about 25 minutes, where it however will be returning to Cardiff. morning hours, this US Air Force C-17 arrived from an undisclosed location to join the exercise and will now be heading out to start doing touch and goes to train the crew on various scenarios during approach. Coming up the runway is the last civilian arrival for the day, which is this ERJ-145 of British Airways that has just come in from Glasgow in Scotland to where it will return at 10 minutes past midday. On the runway, we have a bit of a highlight going on as this Lockheed P-3C Orion of the Royal Norwegian Air Force is lining up behind this Lockheed P-3C Orion of the German Navy as these aircraft will be heading out performing a formation takeoff. Also the GAT has been taken over by the military during this event and so we find a Boeing CH-47 Chinook of the RAF that as one of the first units taking part in the exercise arrived at Cardiff yesterday evening from RAF Bryce Norton. Next to the Chinook we find an Embraer J145 of the Belgian Air Component that has been flying in officers from Belgium that will be helping with the coordination of the exercise. Finally, we find a Boeing 747-400 of British Airways that arrived late yesterday evening from London Heathrow and currently is being prepared to be pulled into the maintenance hangar for a sea check. And that is all for this time. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like or if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe. With that, thanks so much for having watched and see you in the next episode of Cardiff.